The role of biokinetics in the development of selatinol was to start to develop a package around the technical understanding and the science that explains everything about how the molecule actually works and how the effects in the field in terms of disease control that a grower would see are actually delivered. We initially realised what a great product it was going to be and how big it was going to be globally, certainly from the biokinetics perspective when we saw its performance in soybean rust in Latin America. Since then, obviously, we've moved on to cereals. What the fungicide biokinetics team do is to actually mimic the field spray as closely as possible and then at intervals after the spray is landed on the plant we're recovering what's on the surface, what's in the plant tissue. We can actually follow the product molecule through the plant through its journey from the surface to delivering disease control over weeks or months if necessary. That whole process is something that is fairly unique in the industry. Not too many people have attempted to do that at the level that we have within Syngenta. And I'm really proud of you know, what we've delivered over the years for a number of Syngenta products and the same approach is, is being applied to Salatinol. Yeah, I think the long-term disease control that we see from Salatinol is impacted upon very strongly by the biokinetics. When a grower is looking across his field, what he'll see is really outstanding disease control and good long-term disease control as well due to the properties that Salatinol has. It has great rain fastness, stable in UV light, there are no vapour losses associated with the molecule at all. It moves from the surface through the wax into the plant and distributes itself quite evenly over time. And also when it's inside the plant, it's absolutely critical. It has a really good sort of longevity of the molecule itself. It doesn't break down very quickly within the plant. It lasts long enough to give us really good long-term disease control. So overall, its biokinetic properties give it a fantastic profile to give us a really powerful delivery in the field when the growers are actually using it in agronomic practice. In the future, salatinol is going to be used on much wider crops, more diseases, and I think basically it will just spread globally and the work that we do in biokinetics will reflect that. And I can see that you know, what we actually contribute eventually will be across a very wide range of different global crops and different global diseases.